Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Anyhow channel where we are going to talk about a masterclass on how to stop your heart with material possessions. Today, we're going to talk about the Tisby Eco. Now, today's episode is sponsored by Absolutely Nobody. Now, Absolutely Nobody, it's a website that is created by nobody and really doesn't really have anything to do with anything. So it's basically not sponsored. So talking about Tisby, Tisby is a company that I find very interesting. I actually have quite an experience with them. Um, back in the day, I actually owned the Tisby Diamond 580 and I have since actually sold the pen. But you know, a while later, I procured my first Tisby Eco and you know, I was really blown by the Tisby Eco. I, I didn't really like the 580 for a few reasons. It just doesn't seem to suit me very well. The nib was a bit dry on my copy. Um, it didn't really work very well. But the Eco on the other hand is a bit different. It's quite a bit special. Now, the Eco is not an expensive pen. Um, it is actually rather modestly priced. And I think that most people can afford one or more. I have a few. As you can see, um, I'll show you next. So I actually own three copies of the Twisby Eco. One in transparent blue, one in transparent green, and one in white. I, I first got the one in white. The one in white is actually a medium nib. It was the one that got me started on the Twisby Eco. Well, I'll talk more about nibs later. So basically, um, these three Twisby Ecos, each of them are in different nib sizes. We have one in fine, we have one in medium, and we have one in broad. You know, as I mentioned before, the Tisby Eco is actually rather inexpensive, so you can actually own all of them. Um, this is probably better than the time during Valentine's Day when I was trying to get uh, flowers for my girlfriend. I was contemplating on getting flowers for her or not getting anything at all. Um, that was a tough call because flowers, you know, they just die. Maybe not giving it's a good idea. But anyways, the Twisby Eco is cheap enough for you to own all three of them. And it's less than 100 American dollars, which is excellent value for what it is. Now moving on to the construction of the pen. The Twisby Eco, it's a plastic pen, you know, it's not very expensive, it's made of plastic. We'll start with the top of the cap. So the cap, as you can see over here, there is a nice Twisby logo at the top of the cap. And it's actually in a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Hexagonal cap. Um, well, the one in white is obviously white. It has a nice clip that is, I wouldn't say it's very fancy, it's just folded plastic. It works well, it's a clip. It's not one of those that falls out or leaks, so it hasn't leaked yet. And yeah, at the bottom of the cap, there is a nice finish silver band that might get scratched up over time as you use it, but you know, it is quite a nice feature, making it feel a little bit more premium. And when you uncap the cap, you actually have the nib. The nib here I think would be a Yovo 5 nib. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is the one in medium. It writes great and I'll show you an example of it shortly. And below that is a section followed by threads. The threads are not sharp which is amazing. So essentially you can use it for long hours without feeling fatigue. And also one thing to note is that the nib section, the nib and fit is friction fit, so it's actually rather easy to clean. You can just pull it out, you know, rinse it with water. It's very simple. So it has a transparent body, so you can see the ink sloshing around. So I have Sailor Sultan inside this this be eco and it's quite lovely. So it actually swirls on quite nicely. And behind that you can actually see the piston. The piston is where you know you draw ink up. So this is a piston filler. Um, best thing about it is that it holds a lot of ink. So if you're the type that likes to just have your pen working all the time, this is the perfect pen to get. And lastly would be the piston knob where you extend the, the piston. So one thing you note know is that at the back of it, there's actually an O-ring. So this allows you to cap your cap the back of the pen very sturdily so that there is no place you shake it doesn't actually drop it's very very solidly placed and placed um, yeah so basically this is the twist be eco now we're going to see how it writes so let's just talk about how the Twisby Eco writes. The Twisby Eco actually is a very, very good writing pen for the price, to be honest with you. It is, well, it is about 30 to 40 Singapore dollar pen, which I think is about maybe 28 American dollars, thereabouts. Uh, um, 
it actually performs fantastic, you know. I think that the steel nib is great, it is very comparable to firm hard gold nibs. Actually, I think it's, uh, to be honest with you, I prefer it over the Platinum 3776, um, which I find the nib to be a bit too much. I do like it, but just not as much as the TSB. Uh, the whole feel of the pen is very cohesive, it feels very ergonomically made. Uh, balance of the pen is very fine. You don't get any strange back weightedness of the pen. In fact, um, the pen actually feels very good in the hand. Now, the nibs on all three models that I have, fine, medium, and broad, all of them lay down a juicy enough line that is not overly juicy, so it's not overly wet. Really, it also depends on the ink, but uh, for common inks such as Diamond or Sailor, they, they work very well. They are just, you know, it feels really good. I mean, of course, this is a Yovo nib. Um, you can get many, many Yovo nibs out there, but out from the factories, Tisby actually does a good job to check the nibs before they put it on. You know, all of them, all three of them, I had no issues with them. I can't say the same about some of the pens that I actually own by some big German manufacturer where I own actually about three of their pens. None of them work well from the get go. Uh, I'm looking at this sorry excuse of a pen. This uh, what's this shit called? Um, this is Lamy Safari or Vista or whatever this nonsense is. Now, in regards to the flow of the pen, I, I mentioned that they write great, right? So I need to talk a bit about the flow. I think that Chase Eco has very very good flow based on how they tune the pen. Now, the reason for this is very simple. I actually have the fine nib inked with uh, Diamond Solstice. Now Diamond Solstice is actually a shimmery ink. So there are many particles, shimmering particles inside the ink. Never once did I find it to be clogged up and sometimes you know the ink flow becomes poor. It consistently flows out quite well and I think it's quite amazing for a pen at this price point. Uh, so I don't think you actually experience any clogging with the medium or broad wear. Usually they are a bit wetter. So you know, on the whole, it's really, ex really an excellent experience. Now let me talk about some of the competition that the Twisby Eco actually has now. One of the biggest competitors that the Twisby Eco face would be the Pilot Kakuno. The Pilot Kakuno is a nice pen with a Pilot Metropolitan nib that has a smiley face on it. Uh, it's also made of cheapy plastic, but um, there are some things that Eco just does better. I actually own a Kakuno, and for the same time when I had the Eco, both of them are inked. Uh, the thing is, the Twisby actually never run dry. Right? Yes, it has a bigger reservoir, but you know, it never even hard started once. I think the cap actually seals it very well. I can't say the same about Kakuno because I, I, I have it in office, I use it from time to time. And by the end of the second week, I found that the converter has already been dried up. Um, throughout that, it also kind of, I wouldn't say hard start, lah, but. Uh, it well, it was wet, but I just cannot accept it being dried up so quickly. Um, it's a nice pen, but I think for the extra bit of money, the Twisby Eco, it's actually a far better buy. Anyway, in conclusion, I generally feel that the Twisby Eco is an excellent starter pen. It is really perfect for a few types of people. The first would be students or kids where you kind of want to poison your kids to get into the fountain pen hobby and hopefully do better in school because they like writing. It is great for them because they are generally quite inexpensive. You can buy them, let them have it, hopefully not let them trash in it, you know. And they should be able to use it through the week, I think, if it's on the fine or extra fine point. The second type of people that I think would be excellent to suit the Twisby Eco would be ink hoarders such as myself. You know, I have a lot of ink. I just haven't posted them up on video, but um, I have too much ink. And I like to see the ink swashing around it. It's, it's quite nice. And as I mentioned earlier, I don't think the Kakuno is great for ink storage because they tend to dry out. The Twisby doesn't dry out. So if you have a lot of ink that you want to 
start using all at all the same time. The Tisby Eco is good because they don't actually dry out and you can just use the ink as and when you like. And the third type of person that is best suited for the Twisby Eco would be, you know, if you just want to use it at the office and you have keys in the office, you know, sometimes your stationery goes missing or they come back destroyed, you know, I've seen horror stories on Fountain Pen Network or even the various Facebook groups such as the Goulet group where somebody borrowed their pen and came back all sprayed, all, all destroyed and all with the nips all, you know, gone, pressed too hard and, you know, time split open and kind of thing. If you have shit ass colleagues, you can consider getting a uh, Twisby Eco because if they destroy them, at least you don't feel so bad. And so with that, this is the short review of the Twisby Eco. I really do like this pen. I'm not sponsored by Twisby in any way. In fact, this is sponsored by no one. I own three of them. Um, yeah, if you're thinking of a first pen to get just to muck around, this is great. Oh yes, uh, one more thing. This is actually quite crucial that I almost forgot to mention. If you're using hand sanitizers that are alcohol-based these days, please don't touch the Twisby Ecos after using them. They, I think the plastic that they use has been, is quite famous for disintegrating when it comes into contact with alcohol. So please try not to touch them when you have alcohol-based uh, hand sanitizer on your hands or you know, just when you drink, don't write. And with that, this is Kenneth from the Anyhow channel. I hope you liked my latest fountain pen review and if you really want to support me, please kindly press the like and subscribe button below. Um, if you've got any more other fountain pen queries or any other pens that you want me to review, I'll try my best to get them but um, for me to know, you have to leave them in the comment below. Uh, I have a few more pens coming in which I think is quite interesting. They're not here yet because of Covid. Uh, I can't get them to ship it to me yet which is quite frustrating but um, it is what it is. I'll catch you guys soon.